everyone, and today I'm going to be showing you my render settings for Sony Vegas Pro 14 and my video settings for Marilla's Action. Before I start this video, I'm going to put timestamps of when I exactly showed the settings because I'm going to be talking about some other stuff in the video. I would also like to preface this saying that it is not a how I make my videos tutorial. I've gotten a lot of comments asking for that, but the reason is because I think your video style should be based on your experiences with editing software, what you like and what you don't like. Although I'm not explaining it, there will be links to tutorials in the description description on how to use these software. So please don't comment questions asking how to use these softwares because that is not what this video is explaining. So I am using Action to record my voice right now, but I'm using Camtasia to record my screen. I use this for speed arts and stuff like that. The reason is because whenever I try to use screen recorder on Action, it never works. It always glitches out. I basically have to use two recording softwares at the same time. That's why you can usually see the Minecraft icon when I'm recording my screen because when I want the quality of Action audio, I have to have a game open in order to record it. Action is very easy easy to use, never ruins the quality of my videos. I record with the file format AVI because if it's MP4, then you can only record in 720p or below. And I like to record in 1080p, 60 FPS. Also, Action has audio settings you can change. A big problem with microphones is that they're too quiet or too loud and it does let you change it on here. It also lets you change how loud the person you're talking to is on Skype or how loud your game is in comparison to your microphone. So that's pretty nice. Now I'm gonna show you a few things that you can do in Sony Vegas to improve your video quality before you start editing. Sony Vegas automatically meshes your frames together. It basically makes it look blurry. It's called a resample. Most editors will know about this, but to disable it, just right click, go to properties and disable resample. You might not be able to tell the difference when you're editing, but I'm gonna show two clips right here. You can see the difference. One of them is pretty blurry and the other one is smooth. It makes a big difference in the final render. So I'd highly suggest doing this. Also, if your audio is too loud or too quiet, you can right click, go to properties and normalize the audio. This sets it to what Sony Vegas thinks your volume should be. One last tip before I get to the actual render settings. If you've already edited your video, let's see, I already cut it up a whole bunch and you didn't disable the resample before you did it. All you need to do is shift click on the first and last video clip, go to edit, switches, and disable resample. This will make it so all the clips you selected have disabled the resample. Now onto the render settings. So I use main concept AVC slash AAC because I'm trying to render as an MP4. If you open the tab and scroll down to internet HD 10 ADP. That's the one I use. If your computer's really slow, it might take a long time to render. So maybe try Internet HD 720p with these same settings. So under customized template, there is four tabs. You don't need to mess with system, but video, audio, and project you will need change. So under video, the first thing I do is change the frame rate to 60. This isn't a perfect 60 FPS, but it does make it higher quality in my opinion. Don't allow the source to adjust frame rate. Otherwise, it'll just keep it at 30 FPS. Under audio, I change it from 192,000 to 96,000 because there's virtually no difference between the two in the way it sounds and it does save render time so I'd suggest doing that. Under project the only thing I change is video rendering quality. I set it on the best render settings which I think is one of the big differences on why my videos look good and then I just press ok and render it out. I just wanted to make a short little video for you guys showing that. If you guys haven't noticed I've been uploading every other day. It's basically one of my resolutions for this year is to upload every other day. I have some good ideas but just not enough time to edit since we started school today. I will be editing them on the weekend so videos will be every other day but i needed something that wouldn't take super long to edit and i figured this could be useful that's it for this video guys hope you have a wonderful day and i'll see you guys later